on packing up and moving to the country is such a popular idea that a few years ago they started calling it a tree change. But new research today has got some people asking what all the fuss is about. If you live in one of our big cities, like 14.5 million other Aussies, chances are at some point this week, while you were stuck in traffic or crammed into an overcrowded train, you thought about chucking in city life and buggering off to the country. You're not alone. Recent research found that at least half of all city slickers are thinking about a tree change, with 11% wanting to make the move in the next three years. It's always been lifestyle, and that's been the big driver, but in recent years, it's been overtaken by things like congestion, in the cities, concern about security and safety and generally about building a better future for their family and their children. But the latest State of the Nation report from Morgan Research has pitted city versus country in a lifestyle battle and the results might surprise you. In the health stakes, city people are more involved in sports and exercise compared to their country cousins who are more likely to smoke, be obese and have health problems. Education levels in the big smoke are also much higher, along with net wealth and personal incomes. So city folk are healthier, wealthier and wiser. And yet we all still want to move to the country. It has got to be this traffic. Oh. Two hands on the wheel, Carrie. Uh, <laughs> to shed some light on this study, we're talking to Michelle Levine from Roy Morgan Research. Michelle, we've just heard all the ways that the, the city is better than the country, but surely the country's better than the city in some things. I mean, quaint B&Bs, for example. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you talk to people who live in the country, they love living in the country and they don't necessarily want to live in the city, so there's something good about it. But when we look at all of our data, there's not some clear things like they're not healthier, they're not wealthier. Um, it's really something to do with the lifestyle. So can you pinpoint why the country is falling behind in terms of things like health and education? I think the first thing we saw when we looked at the data is that people who live in the country, first of all, they're a little bit older. So there's a skew towards people over 50. There's also an interesting skew towards quite young people, under 20, under 24. The people in the middle, the people sort of 25 to 49, are often leaving the country, going off and studying or going to work. And what that means is there's a kind of vibrant group leaving and the people that are left behind um, are more likely to be older. So along with that will come health problems, a little bit more conservatism. Yeah, tell us about those values. You, you, you found that there was a marked difference between the values of those in the city and those in the country. Yes, we have. When we look at the country-city split, we actually see that people in the city are way ahead and people in the country much less likely to, for instance, think homosexuals should be allowed to adopt children or less likely to embrace technology. They're more likely to believe things like, you know, that the fundamental values of our society are really in trouble. So there is a degree of conservatism and focus on security in the country that you see less of in the city. Well, Michelle, fascinating stuff. Have a great weekend. Thank you.